So I've been uh, marinating the hell out of some chicken lately. I chose this time to add vegetables. I put this in the microwave so the chicken's still a little bit cold. But still very tender. Anyway, so this is my lunch. And these vegetables that I used with the marinated chicken are everything. And it came out like I expected it to. Because normally, I put the vegetables in the, the side dish, like the pasta or beans, whatever side dish, I put, I sneak vegetables in there. But for some reason, well, not for some reason, because I had just come from the grocery store and I had a ton of vegetables, like the onions and red bell peppers, and I got broccoli. So I took, I took all the vegetables that I have I had excess of, and I put them on the bottom of the pan before I baked the chicken. Slow bake. So, on the bottom of the pan, I lined it with, and I cut them big this time. It's kind of inspired me to do it big more often because I like the big, um, the variation of colors that you can, that are clearly visible. So I put, I cut up onions pretty thick, and I put, cut up the bell pepper pretty thick, and you guys know I don't really do celery too tough, so I took my broccoli stalks, so I'm not wasteful with the broccoli. I actually like eating the stalks better than the flowers. The flowers end up having these little, lots of those little, you know, these, uh, these little trikes from the, the florets. Which I don't mind <clears throat> so much, but they get everywhere. And really, if you think you're going to have leftovers that are lasting more than a day, you don't want to use broccoli like that. Because broccoli, leftover broccoli that stews for a while stinks. And it'll stink up your fridge, it'll stink up your, it'll stink. Anyway, so onions, bell peppers, uh, broccoli, and then I put the marinade in a bag with the chicken. And once it marinated, I put the, all the vegetables in the bottom of the pan, put the marinated chicken on top, slow baked it forever in four days, and man, oh man. So it happened like I expected. The chicken came out great. I had a whole different side dish, which meant that I could leave the vegetables there under the chicken as I served it, and I would have enough left over. Because I suspected that these vegetables would be good as a side dish on their own, and man, was I telling the truth. Oh, and the marinade was a, a mystique marinade. I also came up with an idea about how, how to make said bomb marinade that I'll go into in a minute. I need to get some things together first. So, I actually took some yummy juice out of the freezer, but I already had some that was thawing out. So, you can see I use a milkshake uh, straw to drink it, and it is damn delicious and uh, refreshing because I just really feel light and alive and not heavy like I do when I pacify my sugar addiction. As a matter of fact, I need to get some more water and remind myself. But yeah, so as far as marinade, I get a dry rub and I get a big gallon um, freezer bag. Take either dry rub or you can get a package marinade. Like I have a couple of different ones. I have this mesquite one. It says just add juice. There's a, this, this, this brand had a whole host of uh, marinades that were on sale. And they all suggest that you just add juice. It's all you have to do. And, and then you marinate or whatever. So what I do is either take dry rubs. I also have a lot of dusty ass seasonings because I don't use them. There's Cajun, cayenne, chili pepper. And I'm not going to keep it on there too long because it's, it's dusty. I got a soul seasoning here. What is that? Celery seed, paprika, bay leaf cilantro and oregano that I grew myself that they actually get to where they don't have any flavor which makes me presume they don't have the health benefits either after a while when when they're when I store them in these little glass uh, spice jars they don't seem to hold their potency and flavor so like with the one that says just add juice I'll add my sorrel tea or red wine vinegar rice wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar some of them suggest that you add oil. I don't find that I need oil. Really? Okay. The bottom line is, you don't need anything but the dry rub. Some of them suggest that you add oil. I never do because there is oil in the meat already. The fats, for me, provide the oil in the meat already. Um, but what I will add is a vinegar other than white vinegar, like rice wine vinegar or red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar, instead of the liquid that they suggest whether it's oil as in the case of the marinade that i just showed you juice 
ultimately, just put all the dry seasoning in a freezer bag with your raw meat and, and uh, massage it around all throughout the meat. And then put it in the refrigerator for it to marinate at least 30 minutes, anywhere from 30 minutes to overnight. Then you're just ready to stick the meat in a pan and stick it in the oven. Golly, what took me so long to get that out of my mouth? I'm not even meditating, but I'm about to be. So yeah, there's my marinade secret. Take your, dry, take your dry seasonings, add any vinegar other than white vinegar. You just need a, a, couple of t a couple of tablespoons and put it all over the meat, marinate it, and it's ready to go in and be slow baked. I need to put this other gamut juice in the, back in the freezer. When I freeze them, I don't put the lid. I don't put the lid on tight. I do put a lid on because I don't want any vegetable smell. Sometimes it's just vegetable juice. It's not yammet juice. Green veggie juice, and it'll you know the smell of vegetables will wake through the uh, freezer. So, so I do put a cap on it loosely. I don't put it on all the way because the pressure, uh, the vacuum and pressure contrast will cause the glass to break. But I got plenty of bottles. Drinking this and water, but this doubles as my beverage and dessert yeah bitch it's that good i told y'all i told a few of y'all but i haven't had anybody and, and a few people actually a few instagrammers actually asked me about the recipe like they were gonna go make it and i've been waiting on people to say girl i made your yammy juice and my god it's so delicious it's just unbelievable that it's healthy but i don't know maybe somebody's enjoying it and not telling me about it which is cool too but i would like to know if i influence somebody constructively I don't need to know. You don't owe it to me to know. I'd like to know. So maybe it'll inspire me to tell you more stuff that I feel like you're probably not interested in. But now I found out somebody is interested and it's helpful. And so I will. But I'm going to stop rambling so I can meditate. And then get cute. And I'll be good and lit when Mr. come home. And then I can turn on the camera. And ramble at y'all some more. Because I know you love it.